everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm so sorry that my hair is such a mess. I decided to just tie it up today. But um, we have an exciting video. It's very different to what we're used to. And I'm so, so excited. So Greg decided it would be fun to do like a, a snack box challenge. So here I have a snack surprise box. I took my address off of it, but haven't opened it yet. So that's why I am recording it now and <laughs> look like this, because I was so excited to do that. So I'm gonna quickly get into this. Um, each month you get a different country. This is the platinum box, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh, this is hard to get into. I'm really excited. It's quite, it's not that late. It's like nearly half past eight at night. So I was like, had my dinner. Still got room to try all the snacks and give a review. Ooh, I think there's a little booklet in here that tells you. Ooh, things look exciting. Oh, Bulgaria. So that is this month's country. Oh, that is so exciting. Wow, oh my God. On the back it says a treasure hunt. Sorry, I'm so excited. Oh, and it tells you facts about Bulgaria. Well, we read a fact, so we read three facts. Okay, so Bulgaria is one of only a handful of countries in the world where a shake of the head means yes and a nod means no. This can of course be confusing when you're trying to converse through gestures with a local who doesn't speak English, but thankfully most of them realise you don't have a clue. Just remember that da means yes, and try to ignore the seemingly incongruous gestures. Oh my God, I couldn't read that. Um, oh, okay, so the famous Bulgarian rose oil is used for making some of the world's most popular and expensive perfumes. One gram rose oil is produced out of 1,000 rose blossoms. The roses are grown in Bulgaria's Rose Valley. Kaz Kazanwak. I, I hope I didn't say that wrong. I'm really sorry. Um, also, it also tells you the mini box. Like, so in the mini box, you get um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in the mini box, you get this. And then in the original box, you get these. So this is what you get in the original box. Um, plus the content of the mini box. Okay, I don't want to see what the premium one is, but you guys can see what the premium one holds. So I can see some things which is so exciting. Oh my gosh, okay. So this is what it looks like, guys. So, you know, doing a little, I'm so excited. I've never had these before. So it's called Snack Surprise. This is not sponsored, of course. Um, I'm sure someone said they have only been around for like just under a year, so they're still a relatively new company. So there's these crisps that are paprika flavored with sunflower oil. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put these in some piles. We've got these Gifts of Nature Elite Nuts, which are roasted nuts, which look like this. Wow, this is so much stuff. Um, we have this bar, which is called Mopu. Um, I think it's just like a chocolate bar with nuts inside. Then there's this bar. Oh no, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what this is. Hold on. I think this is a good idea to reflect back to the booklet because... I don't actually know what this is. Okay, it's Bor Borovet's wafer, which is a light and crispy wafer bar with hints of orange and peanut flavor buried beneath layers of rich and creamy chocolate. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. What is this one? So this is a Morini wafer, a crunchy and delicious wafer bar decorated with peanuts. It has chocolate both on the inside and outside. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's so much choice. Oh, there's pretz. These are, yeah. So there's some pretzels, which are honey mustard sauce. 
Nice. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on here. Ooh, I saw this on another page. Hold on. So there's this bar, which is a Nestle Mura, which is a delicious and crispy wafer bar consisting of cocoa wafer crust sandwiched together with fine milk filling. Ooh. So you get all the contents from the, the mini original in the premium box. This is wild. There's pizza flavoured baked cubes. Oh, that's exciting, which look like this. Oh, what are these? Oh my gosh, I can't. I need to go back to the other pages. So these are crunchy, fluffy, bite-sized corn puffs with cream and dill taste. They're super popular throughout Bulgaria. Mmm, exciting. There is, oh my gosh, these look so good. They sound good too, where, where is it? So it's a Batrocolio wafer, which is a strawberry flavoured triangular wafer with a filling of Turkish delight. That is exciting. We've also got these milky soft cakes, which is milk and cocoa, which is these. Oh my gosh, there's these little cake things, which is a Borovets cake, which is a delicious soft cupcake with an attractive 3D shape of a monkey filled with a rich vanilla cream. So that's what that looks like. Ooh. Ooh, what are these? Oh, bruschetta. Um, so cram balls, which is bruschetta garden grill, which is this. It's so exciting. I definitely will try some things and see what they're like. A unique and delicious combination. Oh wait, it's a Caruso pita, which is a unique and delicious combination of blueberry and cheesecake cream filling hugged by freshly baked puff pastry. Wow, that sounds so nice. Okay, so let's find what these ones are. This is so fun. Okay, so this is Medo Medovinka. A super moist, rich and delicious honey cake covered in rich milk chocolate is a classic and popular treat in Bulgaria. Wow, that is so exciting. I love finding out things about what other people love. So this is exciting. Oh, these look nice. Oh, they're on this page. They're Timuske drops. Hard candies with a unique taste and floral shape of violet. Definitely interesting to try. So that is what they are like. Oh, are these on this page too? I feel like I've seen them. They were on a page. So these are caramel mou. I diversify your day with these original Bulgarian Bulgarian caramel hard candies. Smile with their rich caramel taste. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, what's this? Is this is this on here? We will get there. Oh, Derby Etar, a carbonated soft drink with an iconic Bulgarian flavor. Etar, the flavor resembles the taste of caramel and honey. Nice. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Oh, Coco Glaze, Glaze Dessert Bar with a soft fondant core. It's a classic dessert bar and is an enjoyable delight for everyone. So it's a Cheka dessert in this little foil. That's so nice. Okay, I'm going to try find these, this one. Haha, <laughs> I found it. So there's this big box. And they are Triana. So delicious biscuits coated in melting cocoa glaze with orange pieces. They're popular throughout Bulgarian homes. Wow. I feel like there's a lot more on the sweet treat side this so far. Which, but they all sound so nice. Um, What one is this? Oh, so there's this, which is a Svog Republica, which is a classic Bulgarian dessert bar with a core of cocoa nugget cream covered with rich milk chocolate. Mm, very nice. Oh, so there's this, which is a Balkan cake bar, a soft, spongy and moist cake with thick cocoa cream filling wrapped in chocolate. Oh, 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 this looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of like an Aero bar, this one, because of the texture. So it's aerated. It, it, I think it is aerated, melt in the mouth, white chocolate. Each bite feels like a new experience. It's a white chocolate aero. And I thought that, well, that is so exciting. Okay, and the last but not least, oh, these look nice. 
These are Chernormorets. The taste of fine peanut cream orange peels and wafer pieces makes these one of the best selling pralines in Bulgaria. Wow, there is so much stuff here. Like, so we have these and like all it. So should we try some? I feel like we should try some and see where we go. I really want to try this. I really want to try all of it, but I don't want to try. I feel like I could try these and like we'll try one and then try some of those things too. Cause I feel like there's so much that I'd probably be sick right now if I tried all of these at the one time. So I'm so glad though I waited until I was ready to film the video when I was going to film because I had been, I wasn't sure how it was packaged, but you get so much in this. I'm not actually quite sure how much this box was but I will definitely find out, like I'll pop off and I'll go find the price. Or I'll put the prices of each box in the description rather than me going away to come back. So I know that that will be very frustrating. I feel like I should try this as well. Um, and I will try, I feel like it's a lot more difficult for things like these to just try. So I don't want to waste them. So I'll put those ones away. These can't be resealed, but I'll try these because if not, I can always share them with my parents and stuff. Um, and then I'll try the bruschetta, I think. So then I'm definitely trying bits and bobs. So should we try? I feel like I really want to try these first. So let's go. I know that obviously I can't have like and stuff but this was a fun challenge that I thought and it was worth it because you get to try from other countries so it's like why not so I would like to get into this please okay oh oh they smell nice this is okay so you open it and this is what it looks like and you get these little bruschettas it's a garden grill flavor Oh, oh, they're good. Oh, oh, they're so good. Like, you know, like when you go like to a restaurant and you get bruschetta, obviously it's like that, but like, was like, I don't know, obviously the flavor is garden grill. Mm, it's so good. Like it has like a tomato-y kind of oniony taste oh but they're really good oh my god i'm so gonna finish that packet they're so good okay next i'm gonna try the paprika chips so here we go so when you open it this is obviously what the crisps look like i mean they just smell like normal chips i mean i like crisps i mean i know that they probably will obviously look like that so Oh, so those are good. Oh, I've been finishing those up too. Oh my gosh, they were so good. I feel like I should try something that maybe I wouldn't know if I would like as well, just so that. Because I don't know. I mean, I think I'd like those, but then what if I don't? And then there's not anything. I mean, they seem like they have a good range of stuff, though. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we're going to try this. This drink. Oh my gosh, it's fizzy. I just... Oh. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that's, that does smell really nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. I cannot get into it. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, that smells really nice. I wish I could just like let you guys smell it so you know where, where I'm going. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. That is really nice. I'm sure it said it was like honey and something else. Oh, caramel and honey. Oh my God, yeah. That's the def, it definitely tastes like that. Oh my God, it's so good. 
oh, oh my god that is actually really nice I wasn't sure how that would taste in like a carbonated drink so so far three things I like so far I might end up trying some extra things here because it's so far so good okay and I'm gonna go in with these which are again if you don't remember what those ones are they are the triana which is delicious biscuit coated in melting cocoa glaze with orange pieces and they're popular okay, yeah. so you open it and it looks like this how exciting and this is like insane because i never thought i would do like an eating challenge on my youtube ever considering i used to have an eating disorder but this is such an exciting idea like especially getting to try food from all over the world like i really want to know how okay I'm gonna try these. I really want to try and invest in this every month because this is a really good idea. Oh my god, they smell so good. It's worth it. It smells so good. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, so this is what it looks like. Oh my god, when you bite into it, obviously it's like a biscuit, but you get such a, a melt-in-your-mouth orange taste. You know those biscuits you get over here that are um are they club biscuits the orange flavor oh my god it tastes like that but in like this shape oh my god mm -hmm. oh my god they're so good i can see why these are a hit throughout bulgaria i really want to go to bulgaria now <laughs> obviously it's not safe to go anywhere right now <laughs> um oh they're so good oh my goodness well this one says it's a white arrow, so I'm not going to try this anymore because I know what arrow tastes like. I don't, all those other ones are quite, oh this one. Okay, I'm going to go for this one instead just because I know what an arrow bar tastes like. Okay. Oh, that's so good. Okay, it kind of broke on me, so that's good. I can like fold the rest away. This is quite a big bit. Oh my god, that's so good. So it's obviously like wafer with like a filling in the middle. Oh my gosh, it's so light and like yummy. Oh my god, okay. I just have a feeling that all of these are going to taste like so good. And I don't really know if you want to see me taste everything. I, mean, I feel like I should try something else. Should I try the pretzels next? Or should I try... I don't know i don't want to like open too many things but i feel the things i've tried i should try a few more things just so you know we can round it up okay i'm going to try this wee thing i'm going to try this wee thing and i'm going to try the pretzels to round off the video because i'm really intrigued to see what everything else tastes like and i will just have to find some sellotape and close up all these bags apart from the crisps and the bruschetta because i think everyone else in my house will like them too that is, honestly is such a good idea I honestly love that idea and I definitely want to invest in this more often. Oh no, that whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> they smell so strong. My pet pretzel broke, guys. So here we go. Oh, that's really mustardy. Oh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it's really mustardy, alright. Mm. but they're good though you know like the american mustard you get on your hot dog it kind of tastes like that obviously it has a sweet kick to it at the end that also might not be con well combination after i ate that wafer oh but they're good too i don't know if i'd like those um but they were really nice i don't know if this wee thing isn't on there anymore but i'm gonna Ooh, so it's like a banana thing, I think. I don't know if that's actually what it is, but it looks like one of those like chocolate banana things. Ooh, it smells like dark chocolate. I could be wrong though. Soft fondant, fondant core. I can't remember what fondant is, so we're just gonna... Oh, that. Oh my God. Mm, that is good too. Mm. 
it's not bad although it's not my complete favorite out of the other chocolate ones i've had but it's good though i actually enjoyed that i'm gonna save some so i can share it with everyone but you got so much in the premium box you get basically the contents of the mini and the original box in one with the contents of the premium box so you're definitely getting your money's worth from that for sure because you get so much i was completely shocked with how much you got in this one box and i'm so glad i waited till the end until now to open it because i wasn't sure if it came in like another box inside a box <laughs> but the box you get is the box that you get like that your box is in but so obviously next month will be a completely different country um and i really want to try it and um, i'm gonna definitely find out what next well i don't think you find out until you get it so i'm gonna sign myself up for next month because i'm really impressed and thank you bulgaria for bringing it with all the good snacks and i just think it's such a good idea to try different countries snacks and like experience a bit of like their country and their cu cuisine yeah their cuisine oh that is so exciting like i can't wait to go share it with my like family and be like oh my god guys you have to try these um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far because you know it's quite a bit of a long video But you know it means a lot if you did I will put all the details of the boxes in the description and once again, this is not sponsored at all I, Well, Greg p bought this for me so I could do like a little Food challenge where you unbox it and try some stuff which is such a good idea Obviously if you want more of these videos, let me know but um Yes, I will put all the, the stuff in the description for the boxes as well, if I haven't already said that. Um, and let you know pricing and everything. But yes, it's so exciting. And I'm going to go because I'm rambling on. But yes, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!